at you, coming back at you with the part two of my Ulta haul. And as you can see, it's a lot of stuff. It took me a long time to get where I am at with this stuff. Um, this is like the box that they throw it in and you have to clean it. Just wanna get you an idea. I hope you guys can see that. But inside, there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of product. And this is actually from one haul now. Um, I have several little other hauls that I'm going to show you guys, but this is just from one haul and I want to show you guys. This is from two different Ulta's that I've gone to and I want to show you. Okay, so the first thing I got was these Rebel hair color. Um, they're brand new. They're actually sealed see that they're actually sealed and then here's another one and this is what it looks like so that's that one I got a juicy couture perfume tester and it's practically it's like three quarters of a way full hey it's beautiful it is a tester though I want you guys to know this stuff that you find are testers you do have to sanitize them but this is perfume it's not touching anybody so and it still has stuff in it okay um normally it doesn't come with the lid though guys i was just lucky to find that lid and this one is a michael kors sporty citrus perfume look at that it's practically full um they did take off this part so you have to use another one from another perfume all right so I mean, this was the jackpot of all jackpots because I've never, ever, ever found a haul like this. But it was all bare minerals, okay? So, I want to give you an idea. And like I said, I do not use all this. As you can tell, I'm very pale. And a lot of this stuff is not my stuff. My girls are dark. They're mixed, so they're dark. But I have the whole collection of the Bare Skin Bare Minerals Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. They were all testers as well, but it's the whole collection. So, um, can you see that? It does say shake well, but if you shake it, you hear the product in it. There's another one. And I mean, when I tell you the whole collection, I mean the whole collection. This was Bare Satin. This one's Bare Porcelain. Um, bare walnut and bare mocha. Okay, um, and that's just four. I have several. This one is bare nude, bare tan, um, bare buff. I'm, I'm. This is what I'm thinking. They ended up doing that. They, um, they did a, a new. I'm guessing they pulled down all the bare mineral display and put a new one up or something else but all of this has product in it like all of this okay um i got several more out of this box that i want to show you okay so i believe these are all of my bare minerals right here for the foundations and this one is Bare Honey. All of these are SPF 20, so I'm assuming, yeah, they're all SPF 20, and this is the Bare Minerals right here, so, um, oops, see, I wish you could hear this, because I could, I mean, you could hear the product in there. This is Bare Latte, it's a smaller version. This was not a tester, this was brand new. Um, Bare Caramel. Actually, I don't even think this one has any guys. So I will be throwing this one out because you can't even hear anything in that. You got to hear it, you know what I mean? And Bear Almond. So, now mind you, this stuff was filthy. The lids were on it. And sometimes they normally take the lids off of it. But I think some people got impatient because it was a lot of stuff. 
Um, and I'm glad that they were impatient because they didn't damage a lot of this stuff. So, for example, these are the bare minerals, like eyeshadows. Look at this, it's completely full. And they were testers. Like, you can see the powder in there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the powder is in there. And, like, it took me some time to clean all this stuff off because they, it was in a box of soup, which is what they call it. But there's powder all in there. And I was pretty excited. Um, it was the whole collection. I wonder if I go open this for you without it spilling out. Because, see? And look at the bottom part. This is the Bare Minerals um, Velvet Peach Blush. And then all these little small ones. I mean, I want you to see this stuff because... I just couldn't believe it. I mean, this, oh, wait, this is Color Pure. It was brand new. That's a Color Pure eyeshadow. But all these bare mineral ones, like, I mean, they're completely full. And I have several. All colors. I mean, dark chocolate, after party, glitz. Um, this one is graphite. And like I said, I don't use all colors. I'm pretty like a plain Jane. So I'm probably gonna wear like a bright, you know, Onyx, True Gold. This one was brand new. Um, but I mean, the whole collection. I wish you guys can see the box that I have. But when I found it, it was not pretty. I want you guys to know that because when you go when you go there, you expect it to be like what I'm showing you now. I don't want you to expect that. I really want you to expect the worst. Um, it was in a box of a whole bunch of stuff that was, um, they put like foundation and condition all over everything. So um, you have to look through that bag because if you don't, there's new product in that bag or like perfume bottles like this or things like that. And you just have to look, it's either in the bag or in the box gotta look but I mean this one has a little bit of product left it's classic um, this one has a full thing it's called your highness also bare minerals this one is huh. I hope this stuff is not falling out because I remember all these being pretty full oh, I can't even open it right now see I'm getting dirty guys Queen Phyllis. I mean, listen, whatever you get for free, don't get mad if there's not a whole bunch of product because you're getting it for free. So don't get mad, guys. This one has Dulce de Leche. It's completely full. Um, this one has Cupcake. It's completely full. It's like a rose gold color. This I will use, guys. The bright colors I will use. Here's another cupcake, but it's a big version, which I'm pretty excited about that. Um, because that's the color I like. Midian Beige, this is my color. This is my color. Uh, this one was cracked on the side, so I'm assuming that's why they threw it out, but it's nothing coming out of it, and it's there. Like, see it? It's all in there. So I'm not sure why they, um, but like I said, some of this was tester, so I'm thinking they just threw out the whole display of it because, I don't know. But like, see? That's the color. Um, I believe this one's a blush and it's called um, the Village Peach. All right, so um, I do, let me see if I have more of these in here. All right, so I have, that's the whole collection of the Bare Minerals. Now, I want you guys to know I found a whole bunch of uh, other makeups, also Bare Mineral Matte, like lipstick, Kim Kardashian line, um, just a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Here's another barrette from my barrette collection. But okay, so let's go over the like miscellaneous stuff. I got a stem cellular eye treatment and I got two of these. Then I got a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie. Now, I've been finding this little by little, so I'm gonna eventually have the whole collection. 
So I'm pretty excited about that. And I want to show you that it wasn't, you know what I mean? So, yeah, pretty excited about that. Okay. And then I have all of these bare minerals. I think the girls took some, but I want to show you. And these colors are so beautiful, guys. Like, I'm going to do a swatch videos of my bare minerals collection so you guys can see. Um, they're so beautiful. When you have girls that are really into makeup, it's really hard to make sure they all get what they want. So I'm actually happy that I was able to find some of this stuff. Because when I spend money on them, it's a lot of money. But, um, try to grab all of them. Here's another Marvelous Moxie. And this one is the Bare Minerals I roll as well. And it's called the Wow Beauty. And this one was called the Spark Plug. Beautiful colors. I will actually wear this kind of stuff. So, all right. So this one is Bare Minerals Cosmic Gloss. And this is what it looks like. So you can see completely full. Then I have the Bare Minerals Matte Juju, which I'm really excited about the matte. So um, me and the girls are, were really pretty excited about this find. They were shocked on what I found. Like they couldn't believe it. So um, Bare Minerals Matte Extra. That's another beautiful color. And I'm going to keep putting my hand up because for some reason you can't see it really clearly. So uh, Bare Minerals Snarky, and that's that one. Um, Bare Minerals Minx, and Bare Minerals Heartbreaker. And it's completely full, guys. I want to show you the tips too, guys, because there you go. Um, Bare Minerals Juju again. I have two of these. So. And these are matte, majority matte swag. Bare Minerals swag. Um, let's see if this could focus a little bit. Okay. And then this one is Bare Minerals and Famous. Hey, okay. Famous. Okay, and then let's see if I have any more bare minerals in here. I do have a bare minerals bare skin complete cover serum concealer. So I do have that. Okay. Um I found several other bare mineral mascaras as well. This is a Bare Minerals 5-in-1 concealer. And I want to show you the collections of the mascara that I found. Like, I mean, perfect condition, guys. Like, see that? I have two of the Petite Precision, Precision Lash Domination. And let me say, this packaging is beautiful. I think if I found it in the store when I was looking for a mascara or something, and this, this is what I looked at. So I definitely, like, definitely recommend the packaging on these. Beautiful. I would have bought this because it was pink. I'm just, even the platinum silver looking color is beautiful. So then, I want you guys to know that the packaging got damaged because I left it in the box so I could show you. But these are the Lash Domination Collection. And I have two of those. Um, let's see. There we go. That you guys can see that. And then I have two small ones too. And these are all bare minerals. And then I also found the Lash um, Domination Ink Liner, and it did have the lid on it, and it does have product inside of it. It's a whole container. Okay, oh, here's another Bare Minerals Eyeshadow Up in Smoke. All right, I think that's all of the Bare Minerals that I found. Guys, yeah. Okay, so. I wanted to show you guys my little brush collection from this haul. It wasn't little, little, but 
this is my brush collection. So Urban Decay brush, okay? A Bare Manners eyeshadow brush. I found a Real Techniques brush. And this is a foundation brush. Uh, Ulta eyeshadow brush. Now this, hey guys, if you don't can't afford the other brushes, Ulta, Ulta's brushes are pretty good actually. So definitely recommend it. Um, I found another Bare Minerals brush. This one is for the Shade and Diffuse Eye Brush. Found another Ulta brush, which is beautiful. Like, I mean, this is really beautiful. It's a contour bronzer brush. Um, I, this one doesn't have a brand on it, but here you go. Another Blend and Smudge brush from Bare Minerals. This is the second one I got. And another Bare Minerals brush. And this is a liner and a expert shadow brush. There's a liner side. And your expert shadow side. So you have to wash this because they were filthy. They um they put foundations on them on the whole collection. Um, I also found this bare minerals brush as well. It's a precise eye brush. Um, here's another bare minerals flawless, flawless face brush. And then I found, oh, let me see. I think that's all. And I found, this was a tester, a little brush. It was really pretty. As you can see, it's a pink brush and it's like a sponge brush. But I am excited about it because look at the, the packaging on that little sucker. Like the blue one. So I was excited about that. And then I also found a whole bunch of It Cosmetics little things like this for the brushes. So I actually put a brush in there to try it out. And this is called the Velvet Luxe Flawless Face Brush. I mean, beautiful. And it's by It's Cosmetics, so that's why I put it in there. But this is just from this haul. I found several brushes along the way, and I will show you. I will probably do like a brush collection, maybe. Um, let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in. I'll definitely do that. But I did find several of these. Um, here's another one right here for the one of the bigger brushes. And they, these are all brands for these. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go over to my NYX products that I found. I found the NYX HD Concealer Cachet. And this is in the color, oh, can't find it, uh, Glow. And this is what it looks like. And it did have the plastic on it. I just took it off. <laughs> so this one was brand new. So I am pretty excited about that. Okay. And then I have some more brushes. I didn't even notice. I have this brush. I have, a, I have like three of these, I think. I'm not sure if it's, I found it in this haul and that's why it's separated from the rest of them. But here's another Bare Minerals um, eyeshadow eye color and it's called Blissful Pearl and it's completely full. I wish you guys, I hope you guys can see that, that the product is in there. Um, I found a Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Concealer. I'm pretty excited about this. Like, I mean, I'm so excited. Too Faced has the most beautiful packaging and I love the way this looks. I mean, the way they, oh, so beautiful. I'm excited about that. All right, so I think that is all the stuff that I found by Bare Minerals. Now, oh, here's another last domination. So I have three of those. Like I said, I'm going to donate some of this stuff because it is awesome. Here's another Bare Skin, Bare Minerals Complete Coverage Concealer. And this one is in the, it doesn't show the color. Huh. But here's another one. Okay. So now let's go to the next or Kim Kardashian collection that I found. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this stuff, but I do have it and I can give it to somebody. A little shelter. Okay. So, Kardashian Beauty Lip Plumping Summer Gloss. I have, um, this one is called Pump Up Pink. It's really pretty, guys. I have so many. I want you guys to see how many I found. This is how many I found. And some of the logos are missing on the bottom because I had to clean the, the, the actual container of them. So... But there's, and I think these two are the same. Let me see. Uh, 
honey flavored and this is hmm. what color is this guys let me see they look no one is darker than the other so but these are all limp pumpy glosses I do have small lips maybe I can use it I don't know maybe maybe I can use it but let me see if I can hold it where you can see all the different shades but this oh I got a piece of my hair in there these are all the different shades that I've got these two these four plus these two so I'm pretty excited about it but this haul was I was I was like oh my god <laughs> like I wish you could have been there and see what I um and see what I actually did like I was I just grabbed the box jumped in there grabbed the box and put it in my car and then I brought it home the bag of barrettes all I had to do was grab the bag but the box was so heavy and it because they soup it sometimes it falls out so you have to grab all that stuff with your bare your, you know, your hands and just throw it in there oh here's another bare minerals um it is called tantalized gloss so I have two glosses of the bare minerals in the wall for that And then some more Kardashian line. Um, I have their little Kardashian beauty. And the packaging is really pretty on these. I'm surprised it didn't sell as I expected it to do because the name is um, see, mascara. Let me show you the inside real quick. Like, this is what it looks like on the inside. And there it goes. So I'm pretty excited about some of this stuff. Right now, I have no makeup on, so I look sleepy as hell, but I am sleepy. I do work for a living, too, guys. So, and then, here's two more of the Kardashian beauties, and they look like this. And these are mascaras as well. Um, here's another Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals, which I love this color, by the way. So that's three in this collection, Show. It's called Show. And then I found this NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss. Um, beautiful. And then... <clears throat> I found a Rev one, which I mean, we can afford this, guys. Some of the stuff we can afford, NYX is not expensive. But if you can get it for free, why not? It's called Color State Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. So, I'm excited about that. Some of this stuff is really, really pricey, and some of it is not. So, um, but when you have a family of three kids, you definitely want to try to save as much money as you possibly can. And this is a julep. Packaging is also very beautiful. Um, it's a color red. Their stick is a little different than what I expected. A brand new Mandarin Mint Ulta hand sanitizer. I actually used it already. Um, okay, so we have a lot of the NYX Suede collection. I was excited about this, guys. Really excited. Um, I mean, I have all the collection practically. Like, look at this. This is all the NYX Suede collection. And as you can see, the colors are all different. Um, I have two more somewhere. I just can't find it at this moment, but yes. This, and this was a NYX mascara that I also found with this. I think they threw this one out. It wasn't a tester, but the lid was cracked on it. I don't know. But these are awesome. And they're all like cream mystic rouge that are creme. This one is Jet. This one is Tea and Cookies. I like dark, um, dark lips. I'm not sure if I would probably use a purple or anything, but maybe for Halloween. Um, I would have do this like a, like a swatch video of this collection, so you guys can get an idea if you might want to get these. 
I, I'll do a swatch video on this. Okay. Well, all my stuff is falling off my lap. So. Then I also got a NYX Van Dunk Condunk Lush Lash Mascara. It was brand new. Um, here's a Whiplash Kardashian Beauty. It was also brand new. Um, I took the plastic off because the plastic had, um, what do you call that, foundation on it. But, yeah, it's a little clumpy, though. I don't understand, though. But we'll see if I like it or not. Okay. Um, we did find a Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy. Uh, it's called Clearly Pearl. Okay. And it is full. I'm not sure if you can see me shaking it right there. But yes. So it was pretty exciting about that. Everything's falling, so if you do something drop. I found an Anastasia. This was in the box. I was so happy. Anastasia Beverly Hills Loss. Um, beautiful. This is like the color that I like to wear. So this is going to be mine. Um, Stila, I found a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lip Rouge. Now I'm so excited about that. Okay. Then I also found, oh, here's another Bare Minerals, and this one is a matte called Infamous. So I actually have two of these. So that's pretty cool. Then I have a Smashbox. Um, this one is called. Something out loud. It's called out loud. So, um, here's another one of those brushes that I got. I also found, I'm not sure this brand, but it was brand new and it's called Shea Moisture and it's um, Prime Rose. And the pink on this is so beautiful, guys. Like, I'm gonna have to do like a swatch video of everything that I found. So, even on that, I have some. I found some palettes. I gotta do a palette video and swatch them. Um, but some of them that I, I bought. So I would do a palette review on the ones that I bought. And I would do, um, what do you call that? Uh, a swatch video on the ones that I found. Okay. So we found this Stila convertible color and it's called Peony, but they did try to scratch this out. So I'm gonna give you an idea of what you find sometimes. They try to scratch it out, but this is what it looks like inside. And it was just like a little bit, so I kept it. So this I won't give away because it's not brand new. And then we also found a Stila Aqua Glow Serum Concealer. It was in the packaging and it's light. It's actually my color and it's brand new. So I did find an It Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector, but I'm not, this is not my color. It's a tan, so it would definitely be for my girl. Excuse me, one of my girls. We did find a Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Airbrush Finish 20 Classic Ivory. Um, the top was on it. It's kind of dark, so I'm not sure it's going to be for me. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's completely full of product. I want you guys to see that. Completely full. It is Maybelline. Something affordable, but I don't know why they threw it out. I'm not sure. Okay. Half of this stuff, I don't know why they throw out. I already told you why I think they shouldn't throw this stuff out. But, but um, it's oh, lighting. I have it set a certain way, and then it just kind of messes up on me. I'm not understanding why it does this. But I am by my window to give you guys more view of other things. So, so here we go. I found a Benefit Hula Zero Tan Line. Now, I cannot use this. So I'm definitely gonna give it to someone. I think this is what they squeezed on all the stuff because it's only like halfway full. But it's beautiful packaging. It's a good like a display piece as well if you don't want to use it. Um, I'm trying to get my vanity together. This is my uh, lounge chair in my room. My vanity is gonna go on the other end. Um, so, but yeah. Uh, we did find a Murride 3 Hydrate Protect. Hydro, uh, Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisture, and it's brand new. Um, it's a little packaging that looks like this. So, 
And we did find a eyebrow primer by Ulta, and it's called Taupe. And it's brand spanking new. Like, I mean, it's brand new, guys. It was in plastic. It's not our color, but we can give it to someone. I did find a Paul Mitchell Blonde Platinum Blonde Shampoo. It's obviously not for me, but I do know people, and I think they spill some of this out too on the product because I found this lid. The bottle is like three quarters of the way full. So I'm gonna just give it to somebody because I do know I, I do have friends that have blonde. And then I found this Givenchy or Vinci Magistral Elixir. And it's like almost full. Um, not sure what it's used for though guys, okay? So, we will see on those. And then I found Olay Eyes Ultimate Eye Cream. And I want to show you the inside. That's what it looks like on the inside. Okay. And then I also found a Exuvian's Hydrating Eye Complex. And I'm surprised that this is in this box because I do have a collection that I found of the Exuvian. And I wanted to do that separate. Um, but this was part of this haul, so it was in that box. So, and then we found um, Ulta Fragrance Spray in Lavender Woods. Smells delicious, guys. And then I also found the Pacifica Jasmine Lime Perfume. And it's a roll-on. And it smells good, guys. So, hey, you don't want to wear it? Spray it on your bed, linen, whatever it may be. Yeah. Okay. And here's a Maybelline New York Master Conceal. Not my color. It does not have the top. This is what they do, guys. Does not have the top, but the product is inside. So you clean this, you you know. I, mean, I, don't know. I did find a Urban Decay All Night uh, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. This one it is semi. Um, it's called Shade 2.0. I'm not sure if it's my com complexion. I haven't tried it out yet, but this is what it looks like. It is this way full. It's not a lot of product, in it, but it's somewhat full. And then, this is another Exuvian's True Bay. That was the tester. Let me show you something. I want you to see the inside. It's completely full. Not my color, but give it to somebody. Um, okay, so I was excited to find this. It's called the Hula Benefit Bronzers, I believe they are. Um, they were testers. They were really tested out. This is what it looks like inside. Um, they didn't damage this. They it was just a tester. So I put alcohol, I sprayed it. I'm gonna keep it, see what it you know. Um, here's another one. It's called Dandelion Benefit Tester. It's a blush. This is what it looks like. And you can see that a lot of people love benefit because they tested these suckers out. And then my last find, oh wait, I got another Murad a Renewing Eye Cream, small, tiny. And then I got a Nail Flower, uh, flowering, um, filer. And I have a whole bag of testers, which I'm probably not going to keep. These are all testers. I don't have any of the lids or anything like that. I was going to try to scrape off the top, but you know what? I ain't trying to get sick, so I might not even use these. But I just want to show you what they do. And then in here, this is how they damage it. This is a naked Urban Decay palette. I'm so excited to find this, okay? When you go inside, this is what it looks like. They tried to scrape it out. But look at the product that's still in there. This one is practically brand new. They just used a knife and went through it um, to try to scrape it out. So I do like the packaging. I might just use it like a display. Probably won't use the product, but... And then I also found a Dream Wonder Powder by Maybelline, brand spanking new, guys. Look at this. Brand spanking new. No one used it. It wasn't a tester. It wasn't in this classic ivory. It's actually my color, I'm, I'm assuming. I don't know. We'll see. If it's not, I'll give it away. All right. So that is my big Ulta haul. Like, that was my jackpot. That was the major, major of the jackpots. And I was pretty happy, guys. Um, 
No, I can't use all these products. Like I said, I will try to give some away. Or, um, I honestly think I'm going to donate it to the shelter. That would be the best bet. Um, because there's so many different types of women in the shelter. So, I'm sure a lot of this will go really well, you know? Us women in the shelter want to be beautiful too. You know, we don't want to look depressed all the time. We want to get ourselves together. So, um, pretty excited about this haul. This was all of it. Oh, uh, like I said, this was one haul, um, two Ulta's that I found these at, and, oh, here's the perfume top. See? This is the perfume top, so the perfume cologne. So, put it on there, and there you go. Perfume. <laughs> so, um, now, with that being said, everybody, I really, 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 really enjoy that you enjoyed this haul. I'm sure you did because you're probably like, right now, I want to go out there and get some more, some Ulta stuff. Or I want to go out there. I found Bath & Body. I went to Five Below, which I have the bag downstairs. Um, I stacked up at Five & Below. Um, it was my first time ever getting anything from Five Below, but it was two bags. I put it all in one bag. And... Um, I just threw the other bag in the other bag. And I haven't even opened it yet, but I can tell there's cases in there. I can see that there's cases in there. Make, um, just, uh, not makeup, um, what do you call that? Electronics in there, headphones or something like that. Or, I don't know, we'll see. Cause I'm gonna like do an unboxing haul of that as I'm breaking the bag open and trying to see what I got, okay? So. Come back to this channel. I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna have some more videos, like some um, tutorials. My do my girls are gonna do some tutorials and we're gonna um, do more hauls, things of what we buy, things of what we find. So I'll do separate hauls. We also are gonna start vlogging as well. Um, I am, I can't vlog while I'm at work. Can't do that. But I will vlog when I'm spending time with my kids and hanging out with family and stuff. So I'll definitely do that if that's something that you guys are interested in. Uh, we are a little crazy though. Just so you know, we're a little crazy. We like to have fun. And there's days that I'm just chilling at home and cleaning up house because I am a mom. And that's what we do. So with that being said, definitely come back and check out my channel. My name is Rose. And I'm that's my sorority name. I'm actually Rose Aphrodite. But um, I'm going to call you guys my roses. So definitely reach out to me. And if you have, def give this video a thumbs up. It is at almost 40 minutes, so I apologize. I just want you guys to get to know me. And if you think anything I should work on, or like I said, this is my second video. So reach out to me. Tell me what I need to work on. Things like that. I appreciate any feedback. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get negative feedback because this is a dumpster dive haul. Which is okay. It might not be your thing, but it's definitely my thing. I didn't think it was going to be my thing when I first saw the video. So, hey, to each his own. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, thank you so much from here in Atlanta. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>